Okay, um, good morning everybody. Uh, as you can see, I have the carburetor for the ET8 torn apart here again. Uh, I have some modifications that I did to it. I'm going to try and hope that uh, really helps things out. Uh, first, I'm going to add a couple um, uh, fabric washers behind that uh, seal that I made for this end. Um, I'm thinking the non-woven um, doesn't swell up the way I wanted it to, uh, and I don't really have any felt, so I'm thinking the fabric is going to absorb the oil and swell a little bit to make a better seal against that. Um, I also did some modifications on the opening here for where it is going to cross paths with uh, the slot here in the high speed adjustment. Uh, and I actually built a model to show how that works. So uh, the high speed adjustment has that slot and a hole in it. Uh, this slot is a bit long. Uh, the main body has the square, those two pieces overlap like so, and I think that, there we go, get my, oh, is that light even doing anything, oh, that light is on, there, we'll hold it in this end, so uh, that's helping us see here. Um, the high speed adjustment is supposed to go uh, as the throttle, so when the throttle is all the way closed, it's supposed to be a little gap across the high speed adjustment and the high speed stays still and then as the throttle opens it exposes more of the slit to reduce the um, restrictions on the fuel going to the needle. So on low speed the needle is adjusted uh, like so and then on high as you open the throttle more of that slot gets, gets exposed. And when I checked my carburetor very carefully I noticed that the slot on the high speed adjustment didn't actually match up with the um, hole in the throttle body so it was pretty blocked up and the only real opening was that hole in the middle was exposing a little bit more so what I did was I took a file uh, the needle files that I have out here and I use them to open the side of the hole on the throttle body so that it will and I think we can see this I use it to file this side here open so it'll line up with that slot better uh, and then I also polished that up uh, I've run a brush through here uh, I have an old toothbrush and this set of nylon brushes that I found at the dollar bin, I think at Menards, but you know, they'd be at the dollar store or any cheap tool joint um, to clean this out. So I'm going to actually double check that I have. Oh, and I have not opened that up enough on the end here, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm using this triangle file because that's going to help me work against the end and not uh, lower the bottom of that hole, as it were. Just 
make sure we didn't push any burrs out the side there. Okay, I don't know how visible that is, but I now have the slit is actually uncovering or covering that hole now, so that's that's proper. Um, on the whole, this carburetor design is uh, middling. Uh, it's between a straight up single needle adjustment for a constant running uh, engine. Uh, that's the design single needle on the hit and miss because you can just adjust it um, for whatever speed it's running at and it's perfectly happy. Um, this is between that and a uh, more complex carburetor like on most small engines and cars um, where there's two completely separate needles uh, one for high speed and one for low speed and on those carburetor designs the high speed needle is um, in a place where the air turbulence changes as you open the throttle uh, so that at low speed there isn't any uh, suction across the high-speed carburetor or high-speed needle rather uh, and then as you open the throttle the th flow straightens out and you get flow across the high-speed needle to suck fuel through the high-speed needle. This design uses just restriction by the slot so as you open the throttle, it is less restrictive on the fuel path to the needle. And that is what allows it to get more fuel drawn in, um, which is a middling design. It's definitely simpler than a full-on uh, it's definitely simpler than the full two needle design to manufacture and to work with. Uh, I am getting distracted because I'm very carefully trying to peer in there and see where the hole on the throttle body is because I did not check the reference of that. Okay. So that was up like that. Yeah. All right. We're just going to start that there and see how things go and then move on from there. Now. Pop our little C-clip on. Put our stack of now cotton washers with a couple fiber washers. And then the plastic washer I made to hold it all together against here. There's the flat for the throttle arm, and this big acorn nut, seven millimeters, a little snug there, perfect, and throw the needle and spring in there. And then we will try this out on Saturday and see how things go. Uh, 
with a little luck, the extra ceiling I think I get from a couple more of these fabric washers and the opening of that slot so that it actually operates the way it should uh, is going to improve the running of this engine a little bit more and we'll uh, yeah we'll find out then.